traditional kind of head and neck cancer arose after tobacco and alcohol exposure. Um, we know a lot about the biology of these cancers now. P53 is commonly mutated. There's a lot of loss of heterozygosity at P16. The mutational burden is high, and it turns out that these cancers are pretty treatment resistant. On the other hand, and this is what's a, a newly appreciated disease for us, there are people who develop cancers in the, in the oropharynx, the base of tongue or the tonsils, uh, related to exposure to human papillomavirus. And so there are hundreds of, of types of human papillomavirus. There are several high-risk or uh, carcinogenic types, of which in the United States HPV-16 is probably the most prevalent. And in people with transforming uh, HPV infections who develop head and neck cancer, we see that P53 is not mutated. Um, viral oncoproteins lead to degradation of P53 and RB. There's a compensatory upregulation of P16. And these cancers with low mutational burden prove to be very treatment responsive. And so in several recent large studies, the TROG0202 study, the RTOG0129 study, there have been uh, careful subset analyses which have demonstrated that although the intensification of therapy didn't necessarily improve outcome in those studies, the patients who had tests that indicated that their cancers had arisen through HPV had a much higher cure rate in about the 80 to 85% uh, range than those patients who had HPV negative cancers.